Item number RPC-248. Designation Almond Maiden. Object class Beta. Containment protocols. RPC-248 is to be contained at Site-27 in a standard humanoid containment cell with standard furnishings and requested items approved by Site Senior Staff. During the day, subject is to be granted relative freedom within the facility, but must report to the medical bay at least twice daily for extraction and return to its cell by 22.30 every night. RPC-248-1 is to be immediately disposed of post-extraction unless being stored for testing. At the object's request, only female personnel are permitted to assist in extraction procedures or testing. Description RPC-248 is an adult human female of Southeastern Asian descent. 1.63 meters tall and weighing 54.5 kilograms. The subject, who claims its name to be Yiana, speaks fluent English, Cantonese, and Hmong, with an accent matching that of individuals native to the Guangdong province of China. While it has not visibly aged since entering containment on 1999, it is otherwise anatomically identical to a non-anomalous individual. Note, RPC-248 denies having a surname. RPC-248 suffers from hyperlactation syndrome, producing 1.5 liters of milk every day as opposed to the 800 milliliters produced by an average nursing human female. While this condition alone is non-anomalous, RPC-248 lactates almond milk. The milk produced by RPC-248, designated RPC-248-1, does not expire, is considered delicious, and when consumed causes an immediate feeling of ecstasy, shortly followed by bliss. RPC-248-1 also contains extremely high levels of the chemical compound gamma-hydroxybutyric acid, commonly known as GBH, a powerful anti-insomnia agent. Consumption of more than 150 milliliters causes a feeling of drowsiness in the drinker, while 300 milliliters causes deep REM sleep within 10 minutes of consumption. The severity of this effect is directly proportionate to the amount consumed up to and including inducing a vegetative state when more than liters are consumed. Recovery Log RPC-248 was recovered in San Francisco, California, after a raid on a sect of the Church of the Silver River. The subject had been an object of worship and kept in the basement of the real Canton Market, where approximately members gathered for weekly worship services and bottled RPC-248-1 was kept in storage. A disaffected member notified the San Francisco Police Department of illegal activities, and the resulting investigation led to a shootout, ending with the deaths of one officer and members of the church, including identified as the priest of the congregation. The anomalous properties of RPC-248 were not discovered until two of the raiding officers were discovered comatose three days later. Upon awakening, the officers confessed, having taken a bottle of RPC-248-1 from the evidence locker and drinking it until it was empty in order to continue experiencing its immediate effects. The report drew the attention of the authority, who brought RPC-248 to Site-27 shortly afterward. The officers and related individuals were given amnestics, while the real Canton market was purged from public records and eventually demolished. Show interview 248-01. Interviewed. RPC-248. Interviewer. Dr. Amber. Forward. When asked for an interview the day following arrival at Site-27, the primary North American site for containing Alpha and low-risk Beta-class humanoid objects, RPC-248 requested that it be conducted with a female member of staff. Dr. Amber, a newly recruited psychologist, was chosen for the task. Begin log 1347. 1999. Dr. Amber. Good afternoon, 248. RPC 248. Is that what they call me now? Only for the sake of the archives. What would you like me to call you, if that helps? Please. My name is Yinanna. Very well, Yinanna. You requested that I be present for this interview. Why is that? 
I don't like being handled by men. From experience. Understandable. On that note, how did you come into the custody of the Silver River cult? I have been a member of the church for my entire life. My cre my father was the priest of the congregation. Jeez. Is there a problem with that? I know I wouldn't want to be fawned over by cultists for my entire life. What was that like for you? Lonely. They revered me. They called me goddess. But I was only allowed to interact with my father and the very few he allowed to speak to me, except on the day of the Silver Jubilee. I can imagine. What happened during the Silver Jubilee? Do you know about what they did with my milk? They kept it all in bottles in the basement cold storage, didn't they? Correct, but do you know what else they did with it? I, well... No, it wasn't mentioned in the report. Dr. Amber appears visibly disturbed. They always looked so happy, but I always knew something was wrong. It felt wrong to me, but nobody knew how I felt, except for one person. Recomposing herself. I, right. That, that makes sense. What was their name? His name is Andy. He's the only man I know I can trust. Note, presumed to be Andrew Liang, the individual who originally reported the church to the SFPD. Reported missing as of 1999. What makes him trustworthy? He was the only one who looked at me with understanding, and not with lust. At the last meeting, before you brought me here, he even left a note as an offering at my altar. Not for the goddess, but for Yianna. It's the only thing I took with me when I left. Really? Out of all the items you could have taken with you? Why that? Because it made me realize, though I'm not a god, maybe there still is one somewhere out there. I see. Thank you for your time, Yana. Doctor, before you leave... Yes? I... I overheard what the men here have said about me, about what they would like to do to me. I don't want to have to go through anything like the Silver Jubilee ever again. But how do I know that I'm finally safe when my so-called protectors say such things? Really? Well, I'll make sure that changes. Do you promise? Dr. Amber remains silent for several seconds. I promise. End log. Closing statement. The note left by Andy was recovered from RPC-248's cell, and is currently designated document RPC-248-A. Shell document RPC-248-A. Document has been translated into English from its original Cantonese. I see the sorrow in your eyes. I feel it, too. I'm sorry I stayed silent for so long. Addendum. In light of recent complaints regarding unwanted advances, I would like to remind staff that any inappropriate conduct toward RPC-248, including verbal statements, will result in disciplinary action, reassignment, or termination, without delay. Yes, she is attractive, but she still has a human mind and is to be treated with that fact in constant consideration. We are professionals, not horny teenagers. Dr. Amber, Site Director, 2014.